Hey there everyone, today I'd like to take a casual peek into the Transformers movie line Hardtop Transforming Action Figure. This casual peek is a request by Transformer Prime 1, hang loose there. Now Hardtop is a Scout Class Transformer that was uh, released uh, sometime after the first uh, tr live action Transformers movie in 2007 and was also a Target exclusive and was sold for I think seven dollars, uh, six or seven dollars and uh, this particular Transformer has a bit of meaning to me because uh, besides this uh, figure and the uh, movie jazz uh, Transformer they were the first Transformers I ever owned and uh, also uh, Hardtop was the last figure I owned uh, before taking a three-year uh, break uh, from the action figure hobby. Now I don't have the original packaging uh, for Hardtop uh, but what I do remember of the bio is that uh, he was involved in taking out Bumblebee's uh, voice processor. I don't know if that was in the uh, comics or cut out of the movie but uh, that's what I do remember out of the packaging. And uh, this particular Transformer is a Decepticon. Uh, there's no indication anywhere on the figure itself that it's a Decepticon other than what was on the packaging and on the instructions. And uh, we'll go ahead and take a look at the instructions here. How to transform Hardtop uh, from uh, his, uh, bot, or his alt mode to his uh, bot mode. And his... Uh, Alt mode is some sort of uh, buggy or dune buggy or all-terrain vehicle on there. And as you can see here, it takes about seven steps to transform uh, hardtop from one mode to the other. And uh, this particular transformer also comes uh, with a, a key activator. And I believe a hardtop is a, a remold of an earlier line, the Cybertron uh, line of uh, transformers also named Hardtop and uh, was different in color and uh, this particular uh, version of Hardtop is uh, I think much better colored than the uh, Cybertron. I've seen pictures of the Cybertron Hardtop and it's got some funky purples and pinks or, I can, or some other weird uh, colors and uh, this one is better fitting uh, at least in the movie, because uh, as you can see here, this is he has a S7 logo, Sector 7, so it's got that military, the olive green uh, down below here, and a grayish green on top. So uh, it looks uh, militaristic uh, in color scheme on there. And it's interesting that uh, this is a Decepticon uh, posing as a Sector 7 vehicle there. Kind of neat. And uh, taking a look at some of the details on uh, hardtop here, it's pretty neat. You got the headlights on the front. You got uh, some sort of grill on top, and uh, also here are some steps uh, on the door. It's kind of cool. And uh, you got some spotlights on the top as well. Now this uh, particular transformer doesn't escape kibble. You can see uh, his head down there on the seat and a little bit of his legs uh, in the back. Overall it's pretty neat and you can see Hardtop's gun on here and uh, it's removable on there and uh, just push it in and you can uh, swivel uh, the gun around and uh, it comes with an activator key here uh, with the Sictor 7 logo and uh, my battery is running out. Now to activate this, uh, you just push the key into the back of the gun here and that'll extend the barrel of the gun. And you just push it on there. And it flips open uh, the extended barrel there. It's kind of neat. And you just pull that out and uh, just push that back in to retract the barrel. Now, uh, my only problem with this uh, figure in its alt mode is uh, here at the bottom of the, what, these are the feet uh, in bot mode. Uh, it sits uh, loosely in the slot. So I wish there was a locking mechanism uh, 
to, to secure it in place. Otherwise, it's a pretty neat uh, vehicle and uh, it does uh, roll freely on there. Uh, no uh, problems uh, with clearance issues there. So, but this is a hard top in his alt mode, uh, that of a military uh, type dune buggy. And uh, we'll be back and have a hardtop in his bot mode. Okay, we have hardtop here in his bot mode. And I first have to mention that I'm a bit of a fan of Scout Class Transformers. I don't know if it goes back to hardtop or not because he's an excellent Scout Class Transformer. And uh, taking a look at hardtop here, he just looks cool. It is a... Uh, articulated uh, pretty well uh, actually very nice and uh, he's got a cool uh, kick-ass weapon here uh, but taking a look at hardtop in detail you could see uh, hardtop's uh, head sculpt there he's got uh, some sort of like a goggle or visor on there very nice on there and uh, he's got this chest plate that looks almost skull-like uh, in appearance. It's very, very cool. And uh, he's got this, of course, huge honking gun uh, for his size. Uh, I think it would uh, even make uh, Cliff Jumper a little bit envious there. <laughs> so, but very nice, and uh, he can also extend it even uh, even longer. <laughs> Just very cool. So, uh, very uh, neat uh, weapon uh, for, uh, I believe he's a sniper, so, very cool. And just taking a look at the figure here. And a uh, little bit of kibble, uh, you got the wheels here, and uh, on the back and on the back of his uh, feet here, which actually stabilize, uh, stabilizes the figure a bit, provides a little bit of balance on there. And just really fun to pose. Uh, I really like uh, well-designed uh, Transformers in their bot modes, especially Scout Class Transformers, where they're so small and to be able to pose uh, this figure well uh, for its size. It's uh, really cool on here. But uh, going over some of the articulation of hardtop here, uh, his head is just on a swivel joint, so it goes all the way around and does not uh, go up or down, unfortunately. Uh, his arms are on a ball joint uh, and they do go all the way around but the uh, side mirrors from the doors uh, pr just impede it just a little bit right here but it does uh, go all the way down the arms do go out uh, about that far and even further uh, due to the transformation of the figure on there uh, the elbows are on a hinge joint so it goes up and down uh, the hands are preformed and they don't uh, rotate on there, but uh, he's got an opening on his hand to hold the gun here. And the uh, figure uh, does go all the way around at the waist, which is nice. The legs are joined at the hip on a ball joint, so the legs go up, down, to the back, out to the side, which is really nice. The knees uh, do bend on a hinge, or no, it's a ball joint, actually. So it does uh, go uh, bend uh, back and forth and uh, doesn't uh, rotate uh, due to the uh, to the sculpt here on the knee. And there's no articulation on the feet, uh, but if you look at the bottom of the foot, it's pretty wide uh, and with the, the tire here, it provides a, a lot of uh, balance to the figure. Overall, it's a very cool uh, Transformer. I really like a uh, hardtop. And I, I think he, he has uh, influenced uh, my preference to Scout Class Transformers, especially well-designed uh, Scout Class Transformers, such as a uh, hardtop here. Uh, but this is my casual peek into the Transformers movie line, uh, hardtop Scout Class Transformer. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Thank you.